blessings to all our Blessed Ones family. Are you ready to find out the richest football clubs in the world? Well, grab onto your phone, turn up your volume, focus tight, and enjoy this empowering video we created for your enjoyment. Our number one goal is to expand your knowledge. Okay, here we go. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you join the family so you don't miss any of the fun content we make for your empowerment. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and post our videos to your social media. Your friends will thank you for it. Premier Clubs alone spent $1.2 billion in this year transfer window. If clubs are spending a billion dollars on players, imagine how much they would be spending on staffs and stadium maintenance. Well, football has proven itself as a big boys club sports, and in today's video, we will be looking at the top 10 wealthiest football clubs in the world. Starting our list at number 10 is Tottenham Hotspur. Tottenham is quite an old club, but they really became a household name in the last decade, especially with them being responsible for producing one of football's biggest stars, Gareth Bale. They recently have had good runs in the championship leagues and have made enough money to build a new stadium. However, in 2020, Tottenham slipped a place as their revenue fell by $102 million, which was partially due to the pandemic. However, they had a very big broadcasting boost because they had a lot of people tuning in to watch them, which is partially because they have two of the best attackers in the world, Harry Kane and Son. Their broadcasting revenue increased to a massive $319.5 million. Spurs have a match day revenue of $127.7 and a commercial revenue of $220 million, providing them a total net worth of $511 million. Next up on our list is Arsenal. Arsenal used to be the most dominant team in England. They are the only team in history of the league to go unbeaten in a season. A turbulent period in Arsenal's history has seen some underwhelming league finishes, but the club continues to thrive financially. The early days of Mikel Arteta's era have brought hope back to the Emirates Stadium after the dark days of the Unai Emery. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang recently landed a blockbuster contract that few clubs in Europe could afford to hand out. His salary per week is estimated to be around $250,000 excluding loyalty payments and bonuses. The club's net worth is currently a whopping $520 million. At number eight is Arsenal's arch rival, Chelsea. Chelsea spent majority of their history broke until the management of the club changed hands with the Russian billionaire, Roman Abramovich. Although Roman wanted to buy Spurs at first, he failed to reach a deal with them. So he decided he was going for the Blues and he bought Chelsea in 2003 for $233 million. Chelsea former striker Jesper Grongjar said testified to the effect of Roman's big spending by saying, We suddenly had the money to compete with Manchester United and Arsenal for the league and champion league. I had never experienced a change of owner before, so I didn't expect anything big to happen. We soon found out this was for real and a lot of money would be put into the club. Fast forward to 2021 and Chelsea have won six league championships, eight FA Cups, two UEFA Champion Leagues, two UEFA Europa Leagues, and several other trophies. Just like Spurs, Chelsea also experienced a whopping $65 million decrease in club worth due to the pandemic. However, Chelsea has a match day revenue of $124.3 million, a broadcasting revenue of $165 million, and a commercial revenue of $210 million, making the club worth $580 million. Taking the number seven spot is Liverpool. Liverpool is quite a successful club and arguably the most successful in England. Having 62 major titles, which include 19 league titles, six European Cups, seven FA Cups, and several other major trophies, their revenue dropped by 66 million due to the pandemic, but they still stand strong financially. They have a match day revenue of 105.7 million, a broadcasting revenue of 245.5 million, and a commercial revenue of 273.4 million. They have a net worth of $575.6 million, and they have a total worth of $613 million. With such a big revenue, no wonder they never walk alone. Taking the number six spot is Paris Saint Germain. PSG has become a household name since they have quite a robust trophy cap. They have clinched nine League One championships, a record 14 Coup de France, a record nine Coup de Ligue, a record 10 Trophy de Champions, and one League Two title. PSG are literally the biggest club in France and are now the team that most of your mates will use to trash you on FIFA. PSG wasn't always the money bag spenders that we know them for today. The club had a total revenue of just $125 million and was valued at only $125 million in 2011. This all changed when Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, the Emir of Qatar, bought PSG in June 2011 through state-owned shareholding organization Qatar Sports Investment. Ever since, the money has been rolling in for the team. 
They're responsible for the top two most expensive transfers in football history. They secured Neymar for a whopping 245 million pounds and Kylian Mbapp for 205 million pounds. However, after these huge transfers, they cut their spendings. The bulk of PSG's revenue profile came from commercial deals. Its two biggest contracts are with Nike, their technical kit supplier, and Emirates, their shirt sponsor. The team dominates League One, winning the French division again in 2019. PSG has a match day revenue of 125.4 million, a broadcasting revenue of 170.6 million, and a commercial revenue of 320.6 million, providing them with a total net worth of 646 million. At the fifth position is Man City. Although they have been looked down for not having a history, Man City has done well when it comes to financial terms. City have seen some serious boost in revenue since they have seen their finances go through the roof in recent years. Big money has been invested and spent in the club, which has rewarded them with plenty of silverware. Revenue fell by 85 million last year, but Manchester City remained the fifth richest club in the world. Man City has a match day revenue of 58.6 million, a broadcasting revenue of 280.5 million, and a commercial revenue of 450.6 million, giving Man City a net worth of 678 million. The German Giants fall in the number four position in this list. Bayern are the biggest team in Germany without a single doubt, since they perform well on and off the field. Due to their unmatched performance, Bayern has a match day revenue of 95.3 million and a broadcasting revenue of 225.3 million. However, their revenue fell just 30 million last year as their European title helped crystallize the big TV payments before the end of their financial year. It is gives them a total net worth of 751 million. At the number three spot is Manchester United. The Red Devils remain the wealthiest football club in England. They were once the richest football club in the world in 2017 and for many years before that. In 2020, they lost $155 million, which was a 19% drop in total income from the previous year. Despite their poor performance on the pitch, Manchester United are still a money-making machine. They can still pull in the big sponsorship deals, which will help them stay close to the top of the rich list for many years to come. Their match day revenue is $125 million, while their broadcasting revenue is $175.9 million, and their commercial revenue is $350.7 million, providing them a total net worth of $670 million. Taking the second spot is FC Barcelona. They have been ravaged by many economic crises that made them lose top players like Griezmann and Messi. However, they continue to bring in the big bucks, earning the most income in football at $735 million. The club went through some very public turmoil last year with the Messi saga, a championship league thrashing, and missing out on the LA Liga title. Barcelona well supported around the planet, helping them to stay on top of the rich list. They have a match day revenue of $150.4 million, a broadcasting revenue of $265.5 million, and a commercial revenue of $365.2 million. All of this gives Barcelona a net worth of $815 million. Finally, at the number one spot is Real Madrid. The 13-time championship of Europe, Real Madrid generated over $86.6 million more than anyone else last year. There was no European glory in 2019 or 2020 for Madrid, but the Spanish Super Club benefit from a substantial share of La Liga TV revenue. Some very clever cost-cutting and big increases in merchandising, Real Madrid is also the most followed club on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, which helps keep their revenue buoyant. They have a match day revenue of $125.2 million, a broadcasting revenue of $250 million, and a commercial revenue of $405.7 million, leading to a whopping net worth of $896 million. That is the end of today's video. We hope you liked it. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and liking our content. Stay blessed, my brothers and sisters.